Good morning, April 5th, Friday, April 5th, 2024, back at the dacha, just lit the stove, a little bit of a wind today, a bit breezy, but very nice day, and first thing I noticed when I came here, where's the snow, it is melting quick, so that's really good, so pretty soon, gonna start aerating the lawn, Probably just scratching it with the rake and uh, cleaning up around the flower garden here. So what am I going to do today? Well, first things first, I need to fill up the wheelbarrow with firewood from that pile there. And then I don't know what I'm going to do. I'm going to see how muddy it's going to get. So I might make a few more of these boardwalks. If not, I'm going to start on another project. I don't know what. I'll have to kind of walk around and look and see what can I build. I'm thinking maybe, maybe, maybe I will make another grape trestle. So I made one right here. There's a longer one over there. <clears throat> it's basically twice the length. So that means I would have to make two trestles side by side I don't know maybe I'll do that or I don't know we'll see do I have the lumber fork absolutely let me show you I still haven't touched any of this so there's a lot of lumber here and let's go take a look at the lumber yard that I was grabbing out of all winter well, this is pretty soupy over here. Might have to make a boardwalk right here. Here it is. Still have a lot of lumber left over. Different dimensions. Lots, lots, lots ready to go. So, yeah, there it is. Still lots of lumber. I can build a lot of stuff. I just don't know what I'm going to build. Let's go over here show you the other grapes so here it is this right here and uh, I would have to make two two trellises and that would be that hey let's go take a look at the pond so here's the pond it is still frozen but it looks like it's gonna Thaw. the ice is gonna thaw here's what I was working on was it about a month and a half ago I was uh, clearing all the dead branches that's when I brought my ladder out to the middle of the pond and I was taking out all the dead branches and just throwing them here now it's gonna be time for picking them up and what I'm gonna probably do is anything that's thicker I'll use it for firewood for next winter i'll cut it up but any of this small stuff we are going to burn it in the burning barrel so that's that all right okay so there it is i have a few options of what i could do today i don't know i'm kind of leaning towards starting this uh, new grape trellis here so I'm going to have to go find some good two-by-twos. And that's that. Other than that, I don't know what else I'm going to do. Putter around and try being productive. And that should be it. All right, yeah, the snow is melting. I mean, check this out. Another couple more days and it's all going to be gone. And then I'm not going to be working inside my shop. I'm going to be working out here, probably making more lawn. I mean, you check that out over there, and it's all kind of whoop de doo. Flatten it out just like the way this was flattened out. And of course, the big, big project that I'm going to be working on is uh, my drainage. I still want to put my pipes in for the drainage system anyways 
got to go load up the firewood into the wheelbarrow and start building something, right? Got to go to work. Okay, all loaded up. So I got a big load on the wheelbarrow. And this is what I have left from this pile that I've been grabbing out of pretty much all winter. And I think this will be gone probably within the next two weeks. That's going to be good. And let's check this out here again. So here it is. This right here is more than enough for today, probably tomorrow. Well, check that out. That is really smoking. Okay, well, I threw in some wet pieces that were kind of on the ground over there. So it's smoking pretty good. All right, anyways, there it is. Full wheelbarrow load and got to go to work. Okay, I found my lumber that I'm going to use. So here it is. I took it out. It's a little bit frozen, a little bit cold. So I'm going to actually cut them up into the links. Now, the other trestle had three cross pieces going across. This one's going to be a little bit different. This one's going to have four cross pieces going across. So got Mad Max over there. Got her ready to go. Got her hooked up with the power and now I'm going to cut my pieces and then once they're cut I'm going to put them into the shop yeah see it's burning it's getting nice and warm in there we'll heat them up a little bit and then we will start sanding them down all right let's go to work okay I cut my pieces here there they are, 170 centimeters each. So now I'm gonna put them inside the shop, let them dry out a little bit. And with this, I don't know, am I gonna throw it away? Maybe I'll keep it, it'll come in handy for something. I don't know, we'll see. Anyways, the cuts are made. Now I gotta put it into the shop and let them dry out. Okay, so I have my pieces all cut up and they are warming up or drying out inside the shop so while i'm waiting i figured i am going to make a few more of these boardwalks so there's really not much that i could do right now with that other project because the boards are kind of frozen so you can't sand anything that's frozen so while those are going to be warming up i don't know they might take half a day or whatever in the meantime i'm not going to waste any time so i'm going to build a few boardwalks and we'll see how that goes all right let's go back to work okay i'm finished up here and i'm ready to go home i'm gonna turn the camera around i'm gonna show you what i did okay i made nine of these boardwalks to add to my six that i made last week so now i have a total of 15. so the reason why I was making them was because my wood, the boards that I have in there, I kept the stove going, as you can see. I don't know if you can, but there's some smoke coming out. I'm keeping the shop toasty warm, even though I got the doors open. It's really warm in there. I only burnt about half of this, not even half. So yeah, so instead of just sitting around doing nothing, I also did, uh, I threw all the snow around to make it melt faster. Good little cardio. So there was a big mountain right there and right here and over there. So yeah, chewed it down, threw it on the lawn. Next couple days it'll be melted or sooner. Anyways, I gotta cover up Mad Max and uh, bring in my little table here and wind up my electrical cord and get going so there it is that's my friday so i look forward to tomorrow uh starting the sanding of my pieces they're already cut so i'll sand that's going to take a long time because they're really long and then i'll probably give them that burnt look and we'll see i might start putting them together maybe i'll do it on sunday i don't know anyways that's that all right gotta go home Bye -bye -bye. 
Okay, so I just walked out of our gate here and I locked it up. I don't know if you could hear it, but the creek is really running now. I'm gonna turn the camera on, I wanna show you. Check this out. That's a lot of water. And that is the whole creek is being diverted. And it's running down our street. Okay, I'm gonna go up there. I think I know what the problem is. I'm gonna show you. Let's go. Okay, so walking up to the bridge here. Let's see what the problem is. Let's turn the camera around. Okay, so the water is flowing a little bit. Okay, but where is the majority, majority of it flowing? That way. How much is flowing through? A little bit, not much. So this pipe right here is frozen. And because it's frozen right through under the bridge, water can't get through. So until it thaws, well, there's some coming up, but not much. So, you know, when I look at that, I'm like, okay, there's a little bit coming up. But this way, there is so much. You can even see that right there, the water is turning and it's going into the people's yard here underneath and it's coming out right over here okay so yeah this is the majority more is coming this way than actually under the bridge plus some is coming from that end so yeah, see they're converging right over here. I mean, look at that. You know, that should be going that way under the bridge, but it's not. So, you know, what I don't understand is they don't want to fix this, yet it's going to cost them more money if they wait for this to thaw, this solid block that goes right underneath, it's gonna cost them more money to fix our street because all the gravel is gonna be gone, washed away. But I guess they know better. Anyways, I don't know, that's my little rant. Yeah, but I, I still, I don't understand why Nothing is being done. I mean, I had a little bit here uh, opened up so that water was at least flowing and I did stop it. It was at a trickle. Well, now it's pouring right through. Anyways, I gotta go. Take care. See you later. Bye, Kapakai.